Hey, wonderful creative friends. Today, we are going to paint these beautiful red dahlias. So these are a vase of dahlias that we're going to paint. It is got a Christmassy green and red vibe. So I hope you enjoy painting this with me. Let's dive right into the video. If you've been following me on this channel for a while, I am so grateful. But if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do just hit it below. It will be so useful for me and the algorithm so that I can keep creating more amazing content like this for you. With that said, let's watch the painting right away. Starting with supplies, I have my Medan watercolour paper pad, 15 by 10. I like to paint big, so this is a nice big sheet. I love this paper. Um, it's 100% cotton and really performs so beautifully, almost as well as Arches if you do like Arches paper. I have a 10% discount in the link below. Go check it out. For brushes, I will be mainly using my Silver Black Velvet um, round brushes with a very pointy tip. I have a size 8, 10 and 12 here. Um, I have also a smaller one because uh, dahlias have these beautiful pointy petals that works really well with this brush and I think I can't go very wrong with this. Uh, what else? So my paints, I'm just using my usual two paints um, and I have all the colors that I often use in the description below as well. So getting a bit of that Permanent rose or quin rose here. Uh, mixing with a bit of Scarlet Lake. And I'm gonna start with that first dahlia using my brush. So I'm just gonna move this a little bit to the side so it's brighter. Using my brush here, just going to start with the center like this. Wiping off a bit of the pigment so that I just have water and just keep going around this imaginary center and my da this dahlia is slightly facing to that direction that's why it's getting a bit of uh, a nice perspective going so it's really just dabbing this brush so I love this brush because it's it really does a lot of the work for you already. I got a bit of this cadmium red because I just want to, you know, play a bit with the different hues. And then the last one's just very transparent. And then I'm just going to have some petals. Apologies if my hand blocks some of the, the painting. Um, I make these videos for free here on YouTube. So um, I have a limit of how, what, how much I can spend as in time. So I used to have two videos, I mean two cameras, but I realized that just took too much time editing. So um, just reduce it to one camera like this and simplify the whole process. And I just try my best to, you know, provide a beautiful, easy to follow tutorial um, and with, with limited resources that I have so that I can just share. All right, so I did one more here, which is like the back. I just want to kind of get the back of the dahlia, um, which I'm seeing my reference here. So I will add like the, the back of the stem later on. I'm going to move to my slightly smaller one, which is a size 8. And I'm going to dip into a bit of alizarin crimson here, which is another kind of red, which I really like more of a cool red and just so although all these dahlias are of the exact same species I like to play with a bit of just variety um, in terms of the hue otherwise the painting can appear a bit flat all right so you can use your own artistic license to make the painting as beautiful as you like. All right, just one more here. I mean, not just one more, just working on that one here. So this is also like the back. Just really love painting dahlias with this brush. I have another video, another Dahlia's video that I did a couple months ago 
and that was using my watercolor inks. Uh, so if you're interested to look at another Dahlia's video, you can scroll down through all of my uh, floral tutorial. Oops, I kind of made a bit of mess here with <laughs> a bit of purple. And purple is one of those colors which is a little bit staining. So it's a bit hard to remove, but it's okay, it's okay. I might do something with that bit later on. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna just be, have a bit of fun and change up the hue a bit. I'm gonna grab some orange and work on this dahlia below here. Bit of scarlet. And you know what? Bit of that purple. Oh, so, so nice. Just remembering to lighten your lighten the hue often so that you can get that beautiful watercolor effect of this painting. Oh, okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, and maybe just I'll start adding some stems. All right, so I don't want to keep going so much that I start to crowd everything. Let me see, what should I use for stems, stems, stems? All right, I think I keep going with this size, size eight. So, sap green touch of pink which I have been using for for this bit of blue bit of indigo and maybe a bit more sap green just to bring it back all right so firstly I'm going to start doing the back of this this dahlia and I totally am aware of how that has bled through that's totally fine. That was on purpose. Um, I love that the this bouquet has all these wonderful buds, dahlia buds, that you won't necessarily get when you buy them at the store. Actually, I've never bought dahlias at the store, so I don't know. Um, but because these came from my wonderful talented neighbor's garden she's so such a brilliant um gardener they all have their buds still sticking onto them So varying the hue of your leaves, just going around and I'm just observing how the leaves are. It's got this very, not variegated, but this wriggly kind of like um, shape around them. So I'm just wriggling my brush to sort of get into that wriggle, wriggles, wriggleness. All right, so the top of the buds, I want to deliberately just dip into a lighter green gold because I'm observing that they are a bit green gold. And I think that makes it, give it a, a stands out a little bit as the bud. So I do like that. There's one here. This one here has got a bit of flower already. <sighs> and this one be a little stem here. Okay, I'm not gonna paint all of the flowers that I see in this vase because it's just gonna be too many. So I'm just selecting a few and keeping it very just loose and loose and tight at the same time. <laughs> Alright, how does it look? I think it looks pretty nice from here. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this vase. Okay, this vase is it's featured in quite a few of my paintings, interestingly enough. So I'm gonna make like a grayish, bluish, 
very light gray blue um, mixture and I don't know if I'm gonna crop, I'm gonna be totally no I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to be super accurate with what this vase really looks like but just to show that some kind of vessel okay so I've got this down it's got that shape it's quite cute I'm gonna have the the stems come down into the vase uh, mixing a bit of burnt umber into the current greens that I'm using and get a bit stronger into there's a bit of geometry happening in this vase but I'm gonna keep it nice and loose okay so I'm just going to get some blue and I'm gonna just do this to show that that's the water that's in the vase and I'm gonna leave it at that for now because I think I'm just gonna keep the bus really loose. Hmm. These leaves can afford to have a bit more depth in it. And I can work on that little bit of, I don't know what you call this, like the collar. You know how the buds have like a little collar? I'm sure there's a name for that part. This is a leaf here, somehow not connected to everything else. Is this giving you the Christmas vibe yet? <laughs> it's red and green. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to get into this whole Christmas vibe. All right, so, might just put in one more really nice red dahlia. Um, maybe somewhere here. Somewhere here facing up because I'm feeling like, big empty space up here and it'll be nice to just maximize the paper and so pulling the eye up okay feeling like the whole composition is a bit squashed and 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 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one, I'm going to have it go out of the page. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to just have the composition. Move out of the page a bit. Always a, a nice trick to sort of bring interest to a painting, like an artistic view of things. Yeah, I like it better now. It felt a bit squashed, it felt a bit contrived. Like I was really trying to squeeze everything onto the page and now it's just got more room to breathe, doesn't it? All right, there's just something strange happening here with the paper, but it was fine. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm liking how this really looks right now. I'm going to leave it and return after it's dry. Don't want to mess around anymore with it. And once it's dry, it'll have a second layer. So we'll be right back.
beautiful. I am really, really happy with the way it's kind of like panning out. I love that I made the decision to have some of the stems sticking out of the painting. And although uh, when it comes to framing, I'm a bit like, you know, messy, but um, I don't really think that far. Sometimes I just want to have a great painting and that's all I'm focusing on. For the next layer, basically, I'm just going to add some shadows into the centers of the dahlias. Um, to, you know, have moments where the eyes can land. So I'm going to grab the size 6 first, pulling up a chair. And I am grabbing a nice dark mix, which is a mixture of dragon's blood, a bit of dioxazine purple, and into that um, Quinn rose and a bit of burnt umber. So, starting with this first fella here, and just tapping in a nice dark center. And then also just going around the outer petals with some shadows. So you can use that same dabbing stroke or you can even play a little, you know, just play and making marks, just making your own mark and feeling into the painting. All right, this one here is begging for a dark center. So I'm lightening the hue as I work outwards so that I'm sort of like gradually retaining some of that soft transparent bits. You don't want to just layer it so much that you lose the transparency of your beautiful painting. I really like how this gave a bit of pop of orange down here. All right, so with this, this one that's facing the back, I'm just going to, whoops, make a little bit more of an intention to create some shadows, okay? Because I want to show, I, want, I really want to show somehow that this is the back of a flower. Oops. Be careful not to dip your palm into <laughs> the wet paints. And looking at my reference, I'm just seeing more lines somehow. It's just more thinner lines back of this flower not sure how well that will work but all right just gonna leave that for now Ludi do walking my way around all the different flowers this one's quite dark already so I think it would just benefit from some nice lines just lines indicating some depth Here, it's so so nice to have a live reference to refer to. I mean, photographs are great, but with the live flower, you can really um, connect to the subject beautifully. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my mailing list yet, I have a mailing list which. Um, you get to hear from me regularly, but not too regular, you know, regular enough, maybe every fortnight. Uh, what I get up to in the studio, new videos, new content. Uh, but also I give out a free PDF called 
uh, nine secrets to lose florals. So if you like to get your hold on of that free PDF, um, sign up to my mailing list. The description is below. In the, I mean, the link is in the description box below. So I'm seeing some um, tips of some of the dahlias. They have this darker tip. All right, I've never done this before with any of my previous dahlia paintings because I guess it's a detail that I've missed in the past. Maybe it's a detail that this particular dahlia in front of me is showing because it's a bit older. Uh, it's not in its optimum freshness. And so its tips have a bit of darker tinge, like it's curling and drying up a bit. And I actually like that detail. I really think it gives the edges a bit of um, definition. So I'm just going to do that to some of my, some of the dahlias. And I'm not sure overall whether it'll be, um, whether it'll work, but that's the thing about painting. Um, and I know you're following me in this tutorial, or you're just watching it. But eventually, it's good to just observe and try, try things out on your own. So, yeah. And uh, it's when you do these little experiments and giving, give things a go, that little breakthroughs happen, like new ways of painting, new techniques that you might not necessarily um, chance upon. I don't know how that would that actually translates. Some of it's a little bit much, but it is what it is. It's done. Okay, gonna leave the flowers now. I'm gonna work on the leaves. So that green, bit of indigo, and a touch of all of that pink, just to give everything a nice um, neutral sort of way to look at it. All right, so I am painting this with the purpose of being in a Christmassy theme, but at this point, I'm not sure how exactly Christmassy It'll be, I think I'm releasing this video on Christmas week. So, um, yeah, I hope you still find this tutorial really inspiring. I, um, you know, I didn't grow up with very big Christmas stuff in the family. Christmas in Singapore, for my family anyway, was very much uh, very commercial. Right? It's all about presents and going to the shopping centers and taking photographs with the mall Santa. And it's more that than, than um, a family affair. I mean, because I'm ethnic Chinese, so we have Chinese New Year. That, that's more like our big, important family gathering. So Christmas was more like a like a celebration at the end of the year. We finally got to the end of the year, you know. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, what am I trying to say? Basically, Christmas is more of a family, um, commercial thing that we do. Um, and I mean, it's different. It's 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 different for everyone. And now we live in a very very global world. Um, it's nice to be exposed to other kinds of religions. And I'm not sure what I did here, so I'm just gonna dab that. I'm not sure why I put that there, but okay. Whatever, whatevs. All right. So just pulling back again, and I do really like how it's turning out. I'm not gonna do too much more, except maybe just doing the vase a little bit. So just darkening this side of the vase and maybe just giving the stems 
Just another sort of like stronger layer down. And uh, yeah, I really think this looks quite pretty. I'm not gonna do any more. These are my dahlias from Jenny's garden. I hope you enjoyed it. It's finished. And there you have it, the beautiful Velia painting. I hope you enjoyed painting along or watching the video. I just loved how it turned out. Um, if you have an Instagram account and uh, with, for your art and you like to post your paintings, do that and tag me at Crystal Tan Art. I'd love to see. Otherwise, um, subscribe to my mailing list below so you can get the latest updates. And I have a free PDF called uh, Nine Secrets to Lose Florals. I'm always hopping about that. Uh, go get it. It's free when you subscribe to my mailing list. That said, have a wonderful Christmas and happy holidays.